potatoes to make them into rice. Yeah. Like you said. It's exactly what it's I exactly said. That was pretty much the only option mm. that they gave me. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm not having that. Hello, I'm Andrew. And I'm Nicola, and today we are trying In-N-Out Burger for the first time as Brits that live in the USA. In-N-Out is like an institution that's mainly based on the West Coast. It started in 1948 and it has 387 locations. But with only three burgers on the menu, how good can In-N-Out actually be? I think it's going to be really good because there's always a line of people trying to get into this place no matter what time of the day or night. Let's go and find out. Okay, so we've just been into In-N-Out Burger. We spent 13 47 Yes, and what do we get for that? We got a double double burger because there's only three burgers. So it's cheeseburger, hamburger, or a double double. So we kind of killed two birds with one stone because we got the... And just to, so we don't confuse you, a double double is essentially just two patties on a burger. Yes. So it's just a, a double burger. And then we got a portion of french fries. Which is not the biggest thing in the world, I'm gonna be honest. But I don't it comes in this nifty little signature box that they they give everything in. But I don't think the price is that bad, because considering we got we got three things, one of them being a milkshake, and usually milkshakes are really expensive. We got fries, a double double burger, and a little chocolate milkshake. Plus a diet cola as well. Yeah. So I mean that's free refills, so that's that was pretty not a bad deal at all, really, when you consider that it, you're watching them cook it fresh right in front of you. First thing I would note is the only sauce that seemed available was tomato. Now I'm not a fan of tomato on fries. I don't get it. I don't get tomato sauce on fries at all. But it seems to be a big thing in there. It does. So I think, well we've not got many options, so I think, do we start with the burger first? Yes. So now the line outside was really busy so we decided to actually walk into the store uh, and buy it from the, the checkout. Yes. Because it seems that um, like most people want to sit in the cars. Yes. And wait for a long time. So I'm just going to remove the tomato because wh why? Why? I don't understand tomatoes or why? anything. Why? And then they put two of the sneaky little things on there. Ay, ay, ay. I can feel my mouth watering. That looks really quite good. It does. They've I not have, skimped. I have high expectations for it. And well deserved. That is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Looks that good. Is, Smells good. That is so good. The burger is so well seasoned. It's a bit on the salty side for me, but it's still got loads of seasoning in there. The bread is so soft, even though it's that, I call it plastic cheese. It's still, it just works together, doesn't it? And they give you the option of grilled onions or fried onions. That was pretty much the only option mm. that they gave me. <laughs> they were the only options that they gave me were fried, well no, grilled or raw onion. Everything else came as it was. Well, but, that is really good. And that it, is really quite good for a $6 burger. And it has, it has a sauce on it. It's like a, it's their own version of a burger sauce, I guess. No gherkins or pickles on here. Seems very similar to the McDonald's type burger sauce, or is that mm -mm. something I'm imagining? Mm -hmm. I think but it still has a mustard flavor to it. That is so good. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I might have to try another bite just to make sure. I'm regretting only getting one between us mm. now. The bun is soft, the, the burgers are well cooked, it's got taste, it's really good. I'm impressed with that. I can also see... has some greenery on there, so you feel like you're getting mm. one of your five a day. Yeah, I almost feel like I'm losing weight eating this. But, okay. but next, let's check the fries out. So as I say, there's no real option to upsize the fries from what I could see off the menu. It's kind of one size it's all but what is interesting you can actually see them in the background using real potatoes through a potato mincing machine to actually generate it's the like fries a potato press for potatoes to make them into rice yeah like you said it's exactly what it's I exactly said. what you said um so yes these are actually not out of a bag and you see them cooking and i feel really i appreciate their, their staff because they work so hard Yes. It's literally a machine in there. Yes, I mean, uh, there, was, there was no talking involved in anybody there. They're, quite, they're crispy. You can tell they're proper potato. Because they're crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. They're pretty good as fries, oh, though, yeah. I, I'm quite impressed with that. They don't. Look, they look a little anemic. Mm. But there is still some crunch to them, which is surprising, because you think them looking that anemic, they would be soggy and not cooked well, but they're still... Oh, and man they've, down. They've Why am I always doing that? I have no idea. But they pre-seasoned them as well, the salt on there. 
And I guess we should be trying. So let me try the milkshake. Because we've got to do the fry test in the milkshake. What? We've got to dink, dunk the fries in the milkshake. Why? Because that's what they do here. Hey. And I've got to try it. Ah, there we go. You can go first. So mm. it's only a relatively small milkshake, as you can see, but for $13 for the whole thing, what, what were we expecting? Mm -hmm. uh, does it look the most chocolatey thing I have ever seen in my life? Talk amongst yourselves, I was going to keep eating the fries. But, um, here we go. It's creamy, He's but, selling it. but no hint of chocolate. No, oh, not another one. No hint of chocolate in that, in my opinion. Oh, there is. No. Yeah. No, I'm not having that. Is I can taste the chocolate. I cannot taste chocolate in that. I can just taste creaminess. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong. Or am I just tasting sweet? It's and sweet. Not necessarily... It's definitely sweet, but there's no no real chocolate. So just let me get this over and done with. Mm. Just I've got to just dump the fries in there. Just oh, it seems just so wrong. I'm not a fan. Oh. oh, no. I've tried it now. Wow, that's really good. You like it? I could eat that again. What with the fries in the yeah, milkshake? Yeah, I, I think that's a good thing. Maybe I've got a new business idea. Mmm. Oh. oh. So, what's your conclusion? I'll definitely be coming back and trying the secret menu. Yes, so there is a secret menu which we didn't try purposely, so we need to come back and try that. Maybe we could even go soon. Really soon. <laughs> Until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.